So this video is about um, algebraic stacks and algebraic spaces, um, uh, essentially the ideas behind them. So uh, let me just kind of uh, uh, tell you what, what we're dealing with here. Um, so uh, here we have schemes, okay? Um, and then outside of schemes, uh, you, there's, there's algebraic spaces. And then outside of that, so this is algebraic spaces, and then outside of that there's these algebraic stacks. Um, okay, so I, I've made a video on stacks, but the stacks are not uh, necessarily geometric objects. Um, the stacks that we were talking about were, were just the fibered functors. Um, and so uh, I, I, I'm going to talk about these two things and, and how to arrive at, at the idea behind them. Um, so first, uh, let's, let's, let's talk about uh, uh, algebraic spaces. So this is just going to be the ideas. Um, and uh, so what, what I want to talk about is, okay, so, so I, it all comes from the functor of points, okay? Um, so, so for, for uh, x an object in a category, I'm, I'm going to use uh, h of x to be uh, this, this functor of points for it. Uh, here, this is hom. Okay, so we have this thing. Um, and as, as we all know, there's a, there's a famous theorem. Uh, by uh, Yoneda, uh, and it's it's completely general. It says that um, uh, so that there's this there's this functor here from uh, a category to uh, the opposite category from this to sets, um, and what it does is it takes x and it maps it to uh, its uh, its its functor of points, and this functor is an embedding. So this is a, is an embedding. Embedding. Okay, so this is uh, full and faithful. Um, uh, so this is a uh, one L there. Okay, so uh, the, the, there's this thing. So the the, the, the upshot of this uh, is that um, so a, a scheme is determined by its functor of points. Uh, schemes are determined. Uh, by uh, the functor of points, points of the scheme. Uh, another thing is that is is that uh, amorphisms from schemes uh, uh, the, the can be um, uh, can be obtained uh, by. Uh, uh, morphisms are can be found by are, are, are equivalent to um, by taking uh, natural transformations uh, of functors so uh, h of x to h of y and so we're going to do the opposite category so this is uh, uh, covariant so it's kind of like plugging in uh, rings into the, your, your you can think about plugging in rings into your schemes instead of things so this is this is kind of a nice thing um, so, uh, right, we have this fact, uh, so what? Um, so there's, there's kind of a, another fact uh, that, um, that uh, so if x is a scheme, then um, uh, x is a sheaf um, in the, uh, the uh, Zariski topology. So you can glue you can glue together morphisms. Uh, so morphisms from X to another thing, uh, uh, or morphism from from Y into X, can be obtained by uh, looking at a covering of, of Y and then and then mapping all those pieces in and then making sure that they're compatible. Um, there's uh, another theorem by uh, uh, Grothendieck and, and Serre, uh which says that uh, X is a sheaf uh, is a sheaf. Uh, in, so this is topology in in the um, uh, uh, the uh, FPPF topology. Okay, so we can we might as well look at uh, uh, if we're going to try so that, so what we're going to do is we're going to kind of like do this Yoneda thing. We might as well look at functors, and so okay, all of all of uh, our our uh, functors that we want that are that are coming from schemes are actually sheaves, but they're actually FPPF sheaves. And so um, here's the idea of algebraic spaces. 
Okay, uh, so it's uh, find uh, nice FPPF sheaves uh, or at all sheaves. It'll turn out that these will be the same. Um, uh, that that fattens the category. Uh, of schemes uh, uh, to to a bigger category. So we're going to want to find some nice things. So we have schemes here, and then we're going to fatten it up by using the unit embedding, but then we're going to kind of restrict the functors that we look at, and, and that's how we're going to get algebraic spaces. So they're really just functors of points. They're functors of, they're, they're kind of like, uh, you know, yeah, they're functors of points. Um, all right. So uh, this is a, a, a okay. So and, and let me let me tell you something. So uh, so let me give you a definition. I haven't told you what an algebraic space is, but if uh, x is a scheme, uh, then h of x uh, this is going to be this is a is this is equal to the algebraic space associated to x. Okay, so uh, I've already told you what one algebraic space is. Um, all right. Uh, so now uh, let me tell you about the the. Uh, uh, I'm going to talk about algebraic stacks. So again, this is uh, only ideas. Um, so uh, so to every scheme, we're going to be able to associate a category. Okay, so. Uh, to every scheme uh, X uh, we can make a category okay and um, there's there's this category uh, of uh, let's say schemes over X and the the objects of this category are, uh, well, these are going to be morphisms of, of schemes over X, and then the morphisms of, of these guys are just the diagrams that we, oh, well, I guess I can do Y prime. I was going to do Y, but it doesn't really matter, are, are, are just these things. Okay, so we have this, um, and it turns out that, um, uh, so a uh, fun fact is that now we, we get a functor, The functor is from the category of schemes to the category of categories. So we, now we had functors before, and what it does is it takes a scheme and it sends it to this over category here. Um, and uh, so this is this is the association. This will be the the um, this will be the stack associated to X. So this is the way to think about it. And uh, you can see that this is a functor because, um, well, functorality, let me just do functorality here. Well, um, again, if, we, if we're given uh, a morphism from x to x prime, uh, then, and we're, and we're given an object, so this is a morphism over here, and then we're given an object in uh, uh, this category here, so we have a, a uh, now we're going to give in a, a, a thing that sits over uh, X. Okay, what we'll be able to do is we'll just be able to apply this map. Okay, and what this does is uh, it induces um, a map here. So, so now this is the new new object uh, in schemes over X prime. And so this was in schemes over X, and this is schemes over X prime, and this shows you the functorality. Okay, so it's really basic. Um, uh, Okay, uh, how to think about this. So the, the, the way to think about this, this category, is this is kind of like the super functor of points. Um, so how do we think about this? Um, we think that uh, this category of schemes over X, so this is the union over all schemes of um, really uh, morphisms uh, from, uh, so points of X. So, so these, are, these are the things from A into X. Okay, so that's what uh, uh, that's what this thing looks like. Okay, so it's it's really really encoding the functor of points. So you do all all the points at once. Um, uh, another thing to notice is that um, uh, that there's a there's a now we have the the this thing here is a two category. 
Okay. Uh, so what does this mean? Um, so we have uh, objects, which are categories. So the zero morphisms are, are categories. Uh, the one morphisms are functors. And the two morphisms, so these are morphisms between morphisms, and these are natural transformations. So now there's this, uh, uh, in, in, now when we go to the stack world, right, we're going to have um, uh, two morphisms. Uh, and this is where they come from. It comes from the fact that stacks are, are really just categories. And, and uh, morphisms between categories have uh, uh, their, their natural transformations. Okay, and so... Um, Again, uh, the, the thing here is that this is the stack associated to X. Um, uh, okay, so that's the idea. Um, okay, so now, uh, now that I've told you kind of like the, the basics here, uh, you, there's kind of two options that I'm going to give you. Uh, the, there's two options for you to go on and uh, see another video. Uh, I can talk about the geometry of morphisms of schemes. Of, uh, morphisms of cat, sorry. Uh, of categories, so this is this is the geometry of morphisms of categories and functors, or I can give you uh, the the definitions. Uh, so this is going to be like real talk, you know. I'm going to actually give you the definition of schemes, but it kind of requires this. But whatever, you can pick whatever one you want to see if you want to keep going. Uh, thanks for watching. Uh, see you at the next video.